What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? I'm back. That's right. Listen, I found some very, very interesting information, some major partnerships, a complete takeover slash expansion in Africa from Ripple, Mojo Loop, the Interledger, and yes, the one and only XRP. Wait until you see what I am about to put together for you. This news actually came out yesterday. I was supposed to make the video yesterday, but as you know, I had softball. Things don't always go as planned. I had the research, so now I am here presenting it. And after this, I'm going to the pool. So let's not waste any time. Without further ado, let's have a look at Coin Market Cap or, excuse me, Live Coin Watch. What has changed since this morning? Absolutely nothing. Bitcoin, forty-five thousand seven hundred. XRP, a dollar nine. If anything changed, we went down just a little bit. Where are we going to go? Listen, we're going to go up. As time goes on, the price is going to go up. What's going to happen in the next 30 minutes? I don't know. What's going to happen in the next hour? I don't know. But what I do know is that as the year end approaches and Q4 comes winding down, we're going to see a drastic price increase in X. RP. If you didn't listen to the video this morning, make sure you go give it a listen. We covered the fair notice defense. It is happening. Ripple is going after, after it. The SEC finally admitted that they did not give anyone, any third parties, guidance or clearance or anything related to XRP. What does that mean? Well, fair notice. They never gave anyone fair notice. They also admitted that when other parties, third parties from the outside came to them asking for guidance are asking them about XRP that they pretty much turned their heads and didn't say anything. This is what we call fair notice, and this is a great thing. Why? Because if Ripple does go after the fair notice defense, like I believe they are, that they will set the ground rules here running, that the SEC will not be able to go after these other cryptocurrencies because the fair notice defense will play into aspect for all these other currencies. So what does that mean in the long run? Well, it means that you could say goodbye to the SEC because they are not going to be able to regulate these cryptos that are out. They will only need to be able to regulate the new cryptos that are coming in, and they're going to have to act fast because if they wait eight years like they did for XRP, well, guess what? Fair notice defense kicks in. And I want to showcase this. Look at this toxic smoothie. I got my XRP whiskey glasses yesterday, but couldn't open a box until this morning. I work at night in the hospitals. I am the night shift charge nurse in the coronavirus unit. Let me tell you, these glasses are beautiful. Thank you so much. We will toast when we are XRP rich. Let me blow this up. He got himself a two-pack of the whiskey glasses. Beautifully etched by yours truly. They are a thing of beauty. I just got 36 more in stock. I'm going to be etching them this weekend. I think I only have about two dozen left. I'm pretty sure a dozen sold, maybe more. I haven't come through the orders just yet, people. So here's the thumbnail of this lovely, lovely video that we or I, it's just me, I'm a solo, gonna make today. Beautiful thumbnail, isn't it? My artist does some phenomenal work, people. Massive expansion in Africa. Let's put this together and let's get started. The news first came out September 9th, which was yesterday. Titled, Flutterwave, an MTN Momo partner. Says Flutterwave, Africa's leading payment technology company has today announced a mobile money partnership with the MTN Group. Africa's largest telecommunications provider. This partnership will allow businesses integrating Flutterwave in Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Rwanda, Uganda, and Zambia to receive payments via MTN Mobile Money, otherwise known as Momo. MTN Momo is a fintech platform providing consumers and businesses with an electronic wallet enable electronic transfers and payments, as well as access to digital and financial services. At the end of June 2021, NTM Momo had 48.9 million active users and 581,514 merchants. People, this is huge. Momo enables businesses to accept and make payments within the mobile money ecosystem. This new partnership will enable Flutterwave to offer MTM mobile money as a payment method to its business customers. Why are we talking about this? This is why back in 2018, from Flutterwave's website, fitting Ripple blockchain into Flutterwave's core infrastructure for African payments. 
says at Flutterwave, our goal is to provide the infrastructure for a unified payment solution that connects Africa to the world. Over the last two years, we have been focused on helping banks and businesses provide seamless and secure payment experiences while we continue to look for more opportunities to connect our businesses to the global world. We have also identified partnerships as a major factor to achieve our mission, and that is why we recently integrated to the Ripple blockchain network. That was back in 2018, people. It says Ripple is a global leader in enterprise blockchain with a growing network of over 100 customers, which is more around 500 right now, with XCurrent, XV, and XRapid, which we know is just called on-demand liquidity at that point, or at this point, or RippleNet. Then they go on to talk about blockchain and what blockchain is. So Flutterweave got involved with Ripple in 2018. They implemented, they implemented Ripple's blockchain network. It tells you right here. And if this is from Flutterweave themselves, people, we then head over to November 13th. Ripple hire reveals a push to expand XRP adoption across Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. All right, stay with me. So Flutterwave, a Ripple partner who already integrated the Ripple network, partnered with the largest tele telecommunications provider in Africa, the MTN Group, which is an, a fintech platform providing consumers and businesses with an electronic wallet. So we jump over to this from 2018 as well. Ripple's Interledger protocol powers MTN and Orange Group's latest project. Floodwave, Ripple Partner, and MTN Group. Okay, we move here. Ripple's Interledger Protocol powers the MTN Group and Orange Group's latest project. The recent partnership between Africa's largest mobile operators, MTN, and Orange Group has resulted to the launch of a mobile wallet provider by Ripple's Interledger Protocol. Mowati is the name of the mobile wallet. It's built in such a way that they will be able to interact and function between digital financial service providers, therefore supporting the existing 338 million mobile money accounts in Africa. The mobile wallet is built on an open source software owned by Bill and the Melinda Gates Foundation, Mojo Loop. The mobile app has been installed, tested, and implemented by financial services firms and many other government regulators. Mojo Loop is made up of notable companies and firms from different sectors of the economy, such as Ripple, Dola, Modus Box, Software Group, and Cross Lake Technologies, under the sponsorship of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So, back to the original article, Floodwave RippleNet Partner, MTM Group, who is in charge of Africa's largest telecommunications telecommunications provider, MTN Mobile, Flutterwave partner with Ripple. We find out in 2018 that MTN Group and Orange Group integrated the Interledger protocol to the largest mobile wallet provider. We head on over to this article, and this was actually an interview done just early this year in July 6. Mojo Loops Hunter. Our mission and vision on financial inclusion are aligned. So we scroll down. Goes on to say, in terms of the actual deployment of Mojo Loop and some of these platforms inside these countries, we read, for example, the Bank of Tanzania is in the process of implementing Mojo Loop. In that part of Africa, there is Project Mowali. What did we just cover? We just went over Project Mowali, didn't we? Right here, the Mowali wallet is built, blah, blah, blah. So here, the Project Mowali is a joint venture between network operator Orange and MTN. What was that article about? Ripple's Interledger protocol connecting MTN and Orange Project Group? What is this? A joint venture between Orange and MTN. And from the days of when you were still part of the financial services program, pro programs in India, with PhoneB and in Bangladesh and other regions. Then it goes on to say, well, yes, as you mentioned, the two developments, Tanzia and Mowali, are well underway. I can't speak to the public release that's up to them. Although Mowali has gone live and is active, Tanzania is still in, pro in process. Our community is actively engaged with a number of other central banks and countries where Mojo Loop will be part of their payment strategy. But I can't speak on behalf of those integrations. 
Do you not see what has finally come together? The pieces have fallen. This all started back in 2018 when you got wind of Ripple connecting and hooking up with Flutterwave to help connect Africa to this new payments world. Then you got wind that the MTN group and Orange group with Project Mowali all connected to the Interledger protocol. And then you saw more expansion into Africa two years later by Ripple. And we know we all know about Mojo Loop and the connections with the Interledger protocol people. And they are telling you right here that the Project Mowali is a joint venture between Orange and MTN who is running on the Interledger protocol. This is absolutely tremendous news that completely went under the radar, completely went missing, and it all starts by a Fin Extra press release because it doesn't mention Ripple directly, doesn't mention XRP, it doesn't mention anything about a fintech company coming from San Francisco. What it mentions is a company named Flutterwave who has integrated RippleNet. And they are hooking up with MTM Momo Partner, the largest telecommunication group, telecommunications provider in Africa. And it all ties back into Ripple through partnerships, through Mojo Loop, through the ILP, and through the integration that went down two years ago. Three years later, we are seeing this thing come to life. This is the biggest news I have covered in quite some time. Ripple is doing a full out takeover in Africa. Mojo Loop is coming to life. We know Ripple plays a role in there. We know the Interledger protocol plays a major role. Listen, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Go get yourself some whiskey glasses. Join the waiting list. Listen, you see I don't have something? Join the waiting list because when I get the email telling me that you're on the waiting list, I'll go make a trip to the store. I'll get what I need. I'll make it for you and I'll get it shipped out. But if you're not on the waiting list, I don't know you want it. Okay, black tumbler still in stock. Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna go swimming. I'm gonna get my swim on. I'm gonna get some color. That's gonna do it for me. Enjoy your weekends. Let's go ripple. Let's go XRP. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.